wonder if it was really his passion to 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 get drugs out as 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 the free the, the freedom to have that product. And I wonder how it would be different if it was a different product service commodity that he had actually brought to market, and if they would have really gone after him in the way they did. Um, well, Ross. Um, believe in free markets, he got involved in the wrong call campaign and became very um, committed to the idea of freedom and free markets. Um, he was never into drugs. He is a full scholarship student. He, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying anyone never did anything, but he wasn't someone that was considered into drugs and cared about drugs. That wasn't his interest. He was very excited about Bitcoin. In fact, I said to him, should I get some? And he goes, no, mom, it's too volatile. It was worth about um, 15 cents then. Um, I'm like, bad advice. Um, but um, that was his passion. He was working on a Bitcoin exchange. And um, so I don't think it was about drugs at all. And, um, but as a libertarian, he believes in free choice. There were things that were restricted on the site, which on these new sites that are out, I, I understand they're not. There were, Anything that the Silk Road admin felt was, administration felt was harmful, such as there was no child pornography, there were no assassinations, despite what you might read in the media, by the way. Um, there were, was no stolen property. But many libertarians believe that drugs are a choice and um, they were allowed. But it wasn't about drugs. Do you think they would have gone after service or commodity? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know what basis they would have, except that there's now, they even said in their papers that anyone who uses TOR has criminal intent. They said that, it's in writing. <laughs> and um, so, the government uses TOR. I, I didn't right? like that. <laughs> I, Plus Bitcoin, I don't think there was a lot of taxes being paid. So <laughs> I, have a, I have a quick follow-up to that. I actually tweeted that. Um, so, Hillary didn't want, Ross didn't either, on that. <laughs> Um, so my quick follow-up to that would be that uh, the Silk Road actually allowed for Bitcoin to have its first real test case. So people are very distracted by, oh, they didn't like the drugs. In my opinion, as a person who's been in the Bitcoin space for a while, I think that it was more a concern about Silk Road giving Bitcoin an actual platform to be used to raise the value. And I believe Chuck Schumer was the head of the banking committee. So to me, it seems a little bit funny that he's so concerned about drugs because, you know, Bitcoin is a threat to central bankers everywhere and he was already uh, working with them. So I think that that's also a question to ask yourselves for the motivations. And of course, uh, the whole, if you really made all the creators of conduits uh, liable for their whatever happens to be pass over the conduit, you couldn't have had an internet or a, or a phone system. I mean, the, the most criminal activity is conducted not uh, by uh, Bitcoin or with uh, anything to do with uh, Tor or a deep internet. It's connected, conducted with cash and over your smartphones and, and all using the usual technologies. And uh, the owners of those technologies are not liable for uh, the use of the technologies. Don't they do have anything else to add to that as well? Well, uh, I'm a huge supporter of technology in general. Uh, and I think Ray Kurzweil is right about the coming of the singularity. So, yeah. The printing press was great for human beings, gunpowder was great for human beings, the common man, and all of the things that are moving in Moore's law towards the singularity. So, worst case, Ross is going to be out of jail in 20 years when the world changes un unrecognizably when Kurzweil is right. So there's this cause, current cause for optimism, I think. Technology is going to overthrow the evil state of affairs, just like all these past developments that help the common man. Right, so we'll probably have to wrap it up there. Um, Lynn, did you have any last? No, no, no. I need, I need to talk. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to think because it's time for the closing panel, so we're done. Okay. But thank you all for coming. Thank you for the thank film. You. Thank you for the. Great job, Scott. Yes. Thank you for the closing panel at 12:40 at lunch.